Hi, and welcome to the installation video for the Wireworks' cable management tray, known as the CMT. It is a drawer-style 19-inch rack mountable fiber enclosure designed to manage, protect, and provide slack storage for up to 144 fibers in just one U of valuable rack space, or 288 fibers in a 2U rack space. It provides a high-capacity fiber patch cord slack storage using its unique V-shaped primary routing guides in virtually any fiber patching application found in broadband, data center, and premise network environments. Follow these next steps to ensure best practices for mounting and fiber routing. First, partially screw the two bottom screws into the rack position of your choice. Then mount the CMT onto the screws using the bottom openings of the mounting brackets shown here. Next, screw in the remaining top screws and ensure that all four screws are tight. Before routing cables inside the CMT, it is recommended to always pull the tray out completely. To open, simply squeeze the both panel latches inward and pull the drawer out. Next, calculate the length of patch cord to accommodate the distance between the CMT and fiber patch panel, which can either be located above or below the CMT. Add both rack unit numbers together to determine the total rack units. You can use this table to find the minimal patch cord length in meters, corresponding to the total rack units you just obtained. Please note that any additional lengths of longer patch cords will be routed inside the CMT. It is best practice to ensure that cables enter and exit the tray, utilizing the cable guides highlighted here. When routing cables within the CMT, it is important that cables enter and exit the spooling section through the center. The easy-to-scan QR code shown here allows technicians to access the latest versions of routing and installation best practices. Here are some proper cable routing recommendations utilizing the internal cable management system. Notice that the cable is entering and exiting the spooling section through the center while utilizing the cable guides on each end. Here is an example of a long patch cord where more than one meter of slack needs to be stored in the tray. Please note, it is strongly suggested to avoid crossing cables over each other and avoid routing cables from one spooling section to the other, as shown in this example. The V-shaped primary fiber guide allows the drawer to fully open and close with proper bend radius protection and strain relief. The stainless steel ball bearing drawer provides a smooth operation as the integrated front panel sliding latches secure the drawer in its closed position. Mounting brackets can be adjusted to allow different mounting depths and racks, as shown here. They could also be adjusted and fastened at the rear of the panel. This feature allows the drawer to open towards the back of the rack, making it desirable in some deployments with equipment ports and patch cords at the rear. For more information, visit us on social media or visit our website at www.wireworks.com.